there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I had an episode planned and then I logged in and people started talking about an event. It's an asynchronous event, I guess. And um, that's going to become today's episode instead. It's the Explore Anopi event. So um, I am going to do some fishing right now since it's nighttime. Um, and I have some stuff that could use some mending. But uh, then we're going to go check this out. So let's get all of this sorted out. I'm finding that I'm getting a lot of stuff here. I need to check if um, Lady Hunter needs any of these things because I am fishing them up in her town. Um, I doubt she needs, you know, a bow or a um, fishing rod, but she might want one of these books because there are some pretty good ones, including. Where'd it go? Yeah, one with mending. So <clears throat> I will check in with her on that. Uh, if you're wondering why I have two sets of mending on breaking shears, that'll be the subject of a different episode because we're now going to go over to Anopi and check out this event, which I am given to understand is going to take quite a while. So it's probably going to take a couple episodes. All right, so this hasn't changed. This is still the entry point when you warp to an OP. I'm standing on the pressure plate. There's not that many of us on for to be having that kind of lag. Oh dear. Huh. That's strange. I'm also not seeing the effect from the beacon. I bet I am about to be disconnected from the server. So I should probably go ahead, disconnect myself, and log back in. Okay. There's the beacon effect. There we go. signs. Those are not the signs that they were talking about. This way to the gift shop. Okay. 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 
All right, somebody did tell me to go upstairs, so let's do that. What? Take a shulker from the chest and give it your own name and turn in your shulker when finished. Oh, so this is like a scavenger hunt. Clue station example 16 to be found. Hmm? Is there a book with more information maybe? Okay. Oh, we have a, an event banner. Yay. Pretty. Aha, and here's the book. Okay. So give it your own name. Got that much. Small event is meant to be done on your own time, either alone or with friends. You'll be searching for 10 clues with an Anopi, exploring the city as you go. Running from today, the 11th of August, until the 1st of September, at which time the event will be over. Please take your shulker box and name it your name on the provided anvil. This is important for when you turn it in, feel free to dye it. If I could get this color of green, I would. Or if I could do like one of like one half of it green and the other half orange, that would be perfect. The banner within your shulker box is yours to keep. This book is also yours to keep and has both the rules and clues for the event, so keep reading. So yes, these will both end up on my wall at my ranch, <laughs> which I have to start organizing to make it a little clearer what's from what. How the event works. There are 16 clue stations within the city of Anopi. Not in East Anopi Estates. Hmm. You will know the stations by the blue bird. See the example where you got your shulker for reference. Okay. When you find the blue bird, be sure to hit the button on the dispenser and collect one clue from each location. There are 16 total clues to collect. Put them in your shulker box. Don't lose them. Does order matter? Doesn't look like order matters. You just have to find all 16. When you collected all 16 clues, or as many as you can find, then return to the visitor center and turn it into the designated hopper. Then DM opponent on Discord or in game and let me know you have turned in your box. At the end of the event, your box will be returned to you filled with goodies as our thanks for viewing our build here on SurvivorCraft. We really hope you have a lot of fun exploring and keep reading for clues to the location of each clue. Good luck. Ooh. Okay. Clue number one, not far from your start, is a place for those who visit to leave a message. If you haven't yet, be sure to leave your own or leave a second if you're returning. Ah, okay. Yep, I think I know what that is. Red and white is her fur, and you choose, if you use your imagination anyway, this clever guardian is guarding the next clue. Okay. How do fish get on top of a hill? Epona puts them there. <laughs> do goats really enjoy waterfalls? These ones do. They have quite a lovely temple if one wanted to have a look. Clue number five, a place to pay your respects, but whatever you do, don't look in the chests unless you really want to. Clue number six, don't abuse iron. It's a precious resource, especially when it comes from a living being. Clue number seven, speaking of living beings, these ones aren't liked by many, but they have their own beauty multiplied by eight, don't you think? Oh, I'm just shuddering because I think I know what that is. Desert life isn't for everyone, but some native species of Anopi thrive. Have you ever wanted to tour Anopi like touring the Grand Canyon? Hmm. Wait, don't leave. There's only two bridges crossing the Anopi River. The one to the north is favored by most travelers. Looking for a day of lofty adventure? It might be a long walk to get to, but you'll be floating in no time. Someone's always on duty to ensure our citizens swim in peace, catch some shade, and gossip with everyone's favorite beach buddy. Anopi 1, Anopi 2, Anopi Red, Anopi Blue. 
Find shipped goods along with your clue. You might find a prince in this sheltered garden if you look hard enough or kiss enough of them. Education is important to all communities and Anopi is no different. It might be a little out of the way, but our school sees great attendance. Got a black eye from a schoolyard scuffle? Our well-trained clinic staff is there for you. And last but certainly not least, look for a place to meet your friends and admire a bit of glazed artwork. Once you've found all your clues, put them in your shulker and turn it in at the visitor center. Thank you for playing and exploring Anopi. Feel free to DM questions and comments. Epona. Let's go back to number one. Not far from the start is a place... All right, so that'll be the message board, I believe. It's either the mailbox or the message board. And that's where you turn in your shulker when you're done. Okay. So, let's get back down. The mailbox is close, so let's look there. All right, no blue bird, so it's not the it's not the message. It's not the not the mailbox. It's got to be the message board. And what's over here? Oh, this is a little different. And so we've got message messages. Take a sign, leave a message. So, TTT visited back in October of 18. All right, so these came from the message board. And Blocktronate, Kitlike, from today. Kimdall, Forest Forager, Gabe Wolf, Papadon, Lady Viv, Monkey Chica, Bonnie, Lady Hunter, Giving stem, free empty, burning rubber, Mr. Gipster, Mayongil, Ivy Zerb, Viv again, Tinwadan, Zonke, Zafire Minx, me. Okay. I'm going to put mine next to the original one, I think, that I did. Okay. Now, here's the bird. And there is our clue is a pumpkin. All right, what's number two? Red and white is her fur. If you use your imagination anyway, this clever guardian is guarding the next clue. So that'll be the fox. Let's see if I can see where she is from here. I don't think she's over by the scales of justice. Hmm. Okay. Can I see more this way? I don't think she's very far. Hello there. Lots of shopkeepers at this level. So somebody else just arrived. Um, 
Okay. Seeing lots of really beautiful stuff. Oh, and here's the gift shop. But, uh, we're looking for the fox guardian of Anope. Oh, wait, is this her? Yes! Yes, it is! Oh, my goodness. I looked at her like three times, I think. Yes. So lovely. I, I cannot get over Apona's sculpting skills. See, when I was doing the Belchamps build and I talked about um, how sculptures are supposed to work from every angle, this works from every angle. That's, you know, you're looking at the back of the fox and you see the little tail. And, okay, you can't see everything over here because of the trees. But, you know, even though it's hidden by the trees, we've still got the, the feet and so forth. And the side of the fox's head. Very nice. Okay. So, what is this clue? This clue is a watermelon. Okay. Alrighty. Clue number three. How do fish get on top of a hill? Epona puts them there. Ah, uh, that I think must be the... Um, Aquarium, which isn't far. But it is up a hill. Yeah, I mean, it's right by my little house. Which, I gotta figure out if I can find the um, video from the build of this. I've had computer stuff with the computer going in for service and coming back and I think I backed everything up but I haven't been able to find the um the file so that may not end up still existing okay so I'm thinking it's the Anopia Aquarium because we have the giant Nemo fish here at the top of a hill And this really is an amazing aquarium. I love the one we have in Hoshido. It's just a very different style. Both are very enjoyable. I don't know if we have this one. Is this a new 1.14 fish? I know she's been working on getting new 1.14 animals. And I guess it is going to be sundown already. How is that even possible? So once we find the... Um, clue that is here, after admiring all the fish... Hello there. Sorry to cut in front of you. Aha, here we go. Here's our clue. Every piece of... Ah, oh, and they're named. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Alright, so I think I'm going to call that the end of this episode. Uh, I think I'm going to check in with 
Epona about the timing of releasing videos on this because of giving away clues. Um, she might not want these posted until after September 1st, which is totally fine. I can just upload them and schedule them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, and for now I'm going to sign off. Actually, now that I run down the hill and go into my little house, I'm not sure where I'm at for um, the... Phantom timer, so I should probably come in here and get some sleep. I think I just slept last night, but I'm not, I don't remember. Okay, so now that I'm safe and sound at home, in an opie, right by the aquarium, I'm going to sign off and say, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.